What's up guys, welcome back to a Final Cut 10 tutorial. Let's get right into what we're about to do today. What's up guys, today I'm gonna show you how to do a cool Polaroid transition. I got the idea from Connor Ross's video. Um, the clips we're gonna be working with today is her in the snow and her right here in the waterfall. Um, the first thing I went to go do is I bought a Polaroid package and a green screen poster and I taped them together so I could save myself from masking. The first thing we're going to want to do is go to the effects panel and type in Kier. And then we're going to lay it on our clip. And when you lay it on, you're going to notice that it changes colors into like a purplish. Um, that's a real simple fix. Um, all we're going to want to do is go to our spill levels and then bring that all the way down and after that we're going to want to go to fill holes and we're going to turn that all the way up and then after that we're going to want to go to color selection and scroll down to luma roll off and we're going to want to turn that all the way up to 100 percent and then you can go into the matte tools and then turn up the erosion a little bit anywhere like around six seven around that area is pretty good and then after that the next thing we're going to want to do is just track the clips um so shrink it down and then track the clip so it could go actually inside the polaroid card and just for time purposes i'm gonna speed this up but obviously if you're doing it yourself you're gonna want to take your time so it can come out right After we're done masking, our clips look a little something like this. And to make the transition look a little bit um, more believable to actually pull it off and make it look like it's um, doing it, we're gonna wanna put a motion blur. And uh, Final Cut Pro didn't have a motion blur, so I had to find another way to do it. And the easiest way that I found, um, I went into the transitions panel, and then I typed in zoom and pan, and you could lay the transition right on there and delete the end one. And then you can change the duration to 10. And then after that, we're gonna wanna lay an adjustment layer on top of it. And once you lay it up and then cut it to the same exact length at the transition, you can open your uh, effects panel and then type in zoom. And then just lay that on there. And there's also a lot of extra effects that you can add to it to make it look a little better. But that's a basic effect. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.